but can you do this in a global way? What are the two? What are the positions in the in a global culture war? Isn't like, that all Amer- the? Isn't that the whole thing? Like the American embassies running up the uh, the gay trans pride flag in front of the embassy, you know, yeah. um, or running up indeed the Ukraine flag, you know. But is, I, is I think, that a global I think that, I think that, culture war, or isn't it just an American well, culture know. I mean, war exported? Well, isn't it M- the, maybe same that's the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think that mm. that is what's distinctive about, and I, I'm I, I keep intending to write something on this. What is the nature of contemporary culture war, and how is it different from the culture war 1.0? We recently recorded an episode with Catherine Liu on this, which um, won't be out for another two weeks from when you listen to this. But just to foreshadow that, you know, and I think the culture war 1.0, um, and this is something that we wrote about in our book as well. That the old culture war and like the campus wars and whatever were more institutionally constrained, I think, that they were about kind of what gets studied in the humanities, about great books, or about moral issues, about abortion, etc. Now the culture war can be about kind of anything and anywhere. And it, what makes it a culture war is it conforming to certain modes of doing politics, which is to say it's symbolic. It's about the adoption of symbols more than it is about kind of materially changing politics. And it's about a kind of um, a Schmidian sense of opposition, right, of creation of creation of friend and enemy, and that that is a fundamental guiding line for the way that you pursue the politics more than adherence to a set of ideas, right? So you might change from one day to the other what symbols you prefer, but as long as you're not those guys. Hi there, friends. This is the end of a sample from an episode available only to subscribers at patreon.com slash bungacast. For $7 a month, subscribers get at least four original exclusive episodes a month, featuring Alex, George, and Phil, as well as our regular contributors, Alex Gurevich, Amber Lee Frost, Catherine New, and Lee Phillips. We've got episodes on current affairs, extended interviews, exclusive episodes on theory, history, culture, docu-series, analyses of film, and our responses to listeners' questions and criticisms. And for $12 a month, you also get access to the very special BungaCast Reading Club, where we present the key books and essays necessary for understanding the world today, how we got here, and where we might be going. Of course, if you just want to try us out, there's also a $3 entry tier giving you one exclusive episode a month. We do hope you'll join us. These are turbulent times, and ideologically confused ones as well. We tried to find some political clarity so that we might move beyond the age of Bunga Bunga. Dakar ou Brasilia, que ouais ton corps?